Have you heard of this amazing tool, ChatGPT? Pretty good, right? Well, it could be a little bit better, just, just at least a smidge, just like a tiny, at least not, like it, 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 it could be a lot better. And in this video, I'm gonna go over three tools that are Chrome extensions that can level up your AI experience. Number one is gonna be ChatGPT for Google. So for example, if I add this to Brave, then when I go to Google, how to make an amazing video on ChatGPT. You'll see right here that if I log into OpenAI, going here and picking my account, you'll see right here that it ends up giving you a ChatGPT response right here. So this is interesting because I can tell it to shut up, you know, just like stop, but it's gonna keep going. Oh my God, wait a second. <laughs> Good Lord. So this is a very interesting thing. It's also putting an ad for this thing called Monica. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. But essentially what this tool does is if we press the settings here, we will see that you can set it to always trigger, have a trigger when there's a question mark or manually have a trigger, as well as change the theme and what model, you know? So if I wanna use ChatGPT 4, I can. If I wanna use 3.5 all the time, I can. Now there's a quota limit of 25 every four hours. So if you don't wanna worry about that, keep it on that. But if you end up putting your API key in here, what you can do is Google things and then you will have it query ChatGPT using the OpenAI API key, which will cost you money, but does not have a quota limit similar to the GPT-4 inside of the app itself. I can ask it anything, but I also, if I click on this, you'll see if I just click part of this, I put like, who is Johnny Harris on YouTube? And then I highlight part of it. I press that ChatGPT writer. That is the second tool that I have in my arsenal. So ChatGPT Writer is essentially a extension that allows you to, as you can see with the C examples, write better replies to things. Like for example, on emails, this is a great option. So briefly enter what you wanna write. So write, Johnny Harris is someone I'm a huge fan of on YouTube, and I want to learn how he storytells. Instead, what we can do, we can say write an email that asks the person in the message context for info on what they are good at. Press generate response. I really like this default one, right? <laughs> reply to this email that I won't be able to attend meetings due to health issues. But you'll see subject see seeking insights on your exceptional storytelling skills. It's gonna generate a response really quick. Copy and respond. So let's go to Gmail, open this up, paste out what it was. Whoa, hope this email finds you in good health and high spirits. My name is Dimitri and I'm writing you as a devoted fan. Yeah, yeah, this did a thing. And Grammarly's telling me it sucks, but I mean, it's a way better start than I would have had. I mean, does it look like I write good emails? But yeah, if somebody were to respond to you with something, for example, right here, if I highlight this, invitee, Danny Hatcher. No, skip this part. But yeah, it's essentially just a tool that allows you to improve your writing while like interacting with your Google Chrome experience, which is really cool. So if you're interested in that one, I would definitely check it out. And third, it's very basic, but for example, if I were to go to YouTube now with an extension that I have in here called YouTube Summary with GBT, go here, this is the one that it looks like by this company. And I go to Johnny Harris. Let's pick this insider trading video. See on the side here, if I press view AI summary, it's gonna ask ChatGPT to summarize it really quickly. Now I can just press this tab down and it will give me the transcript, which is awesome. The fact that it's able to give me a transcript nearly immediately, I mean, you saw that. I literally just pressed the drop down and it showed up and then I can easily access a summary of it with ChatGPT. Now, this is the kind of thing that's great for research with ChatGPT, right? I think curation is huge, and a lot of people don't really talk about the ability of it to just analyze all that data and give us some like, hey, give me some, give me something. And there are a lot of people who have very interesting interviews on YouTube, and this could be a great way to, I don't know, make a cash cow YouTube channel of different interviewers, of different interviewees who are telling stories, and then you just kind of put, slap B-roll all over it. But seriously, this is uh, something that I definitely am gonna try out moving forward. All of these are just nice little things that augment your ability to utilize ChatGPT. And I'm curious what your thoughts are on them overall. And I'm curious what your thoughts are on this video on how to improve your productivity even more.